Hey, my name is Felipe and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to work with color detection. Let me show you super quickly what exactly we are going to be coding in today's tutorial. This is my webcam, so hi, this is me. Currently, we are detecting all yellow objects in my webcam, so this is what happens when I am holding a lemon. <laughs> you can see that we are getting a 100% perfect and very accurate detection. We are getting a real-time detection. This is working on real-time. I am running this code on my local computer computer in a CPU so this is an absolutely 100% perfect detection and it's obviously going to work with absolutely every other yellow object I input into my webcam for example this is another example with a banana which is, which is also a yellow object so this is exactly what we are going to be coding in today's tutorial and most importantly we are going to work 100% with Python and OpenCV we are not going to use YOLO or Detector2 we are not going to use uh, TensorFlow, Keras or any of those super super complex deep learning technologies. So following the steps of this tutorial you are going to learn how to build a color detection using Python and OpenCV in only a few lines of code. So let's get started. So let's see the requirements for this project. These are the three libraries we are going to use in today's tutorial. We're going to use OpenCV, NumPy and Pillow. As always if you want to install these dependencies you will need to go to the terminal and type something like pip install minus r requirements. In my case I have already installed these requirements so nothing is going to happen on my computer but please remember to install all these dependencies before starting this tutorial. Let me show you a file I have created and that's going to be super super useful for today's tutorial. I have created this utils file it's called util.pi and it contains a function only one function and this function is going to be super, 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 super useful later on on this tutorial. You are going to see exactly why. As this is a tutorial about how to detect color using Python and OpenCV, you can see that the input of this function is exactly that. It's exactly a color. So this is going to take care of some parts of our process, which is going to make everything much, much simpler and much easier for us. But you are going to see exactly why in a few minutes. Now let's start with this tutorial and the first thing I'm going to do is to load or uh, my webcam because we are going to work a lot with the webcam today. So I'm going to create a while true and I'm going to say something like I need to import cp2 then I'm going to create an object which is cap and this is going to be cp2 video capture and I need to specify what's the webcam I want to uh, load using OpenCV and I'm going to specify it's the number 2. This is going to depend on how many webcams you have uh, connected to your computer. It may be the number 2, 1, 0, um, who knows. <laughs> if, you, if you only have one webcam it's most likely the number 0. But in my case I'm going to use the number 2. So uh, while true I'm going to read frames for from my webcam so this is going to be something like cap.read and then I'm going to visualize this frame so I am calling to in show frame and I'm going to call this window frame so that's pretty much all then I need to close this window and I'm going to do it once I press the letter Q that's going to be all and then I'm going to release memory and cv2 destroy sorry destroy all windows okay this is the most basic structure we need in order to do nothing in order to open our webcam and just visualize our webcam stream and I am going to press play to see exactly how this looks like and you can see that we so far we have absolutely nothing we are only visualizing my webcam okay so let's continue uh, what I'm going to do now we have built our most basic structure in order to visualize our webcam now let's uh, let's handle all the color detection which is what we are going to do in today's tutorial and before starting the coding, the, the, the sentences, all the, the code we need in order to detect color, I'm going to give you like a very quick instruction in, in the HSP color space. When we work with images, it's most likely we are thinking about these images as if they were in a BGR color space or a RGB color space, which means that every single pixel in our image is a combination of the blue, green and red 
uh, colors. Absolutely every single pixel, absolutely every single color in our image can be expressed as a combination of these three colors, blue, green and red. But in some cases it's going to be very convenient to convert our representation, to convert our image or color space from BGR, which is the original representation or the original color space, into a more convenient uh, color space depending on our use case, depending on what we want to do with our images. And if we talk about detecting colors, we are going to work with the HSB color space. This is an image of how the HSB color space looks like, or this is like a model for the HSB color space. And you can see that we have something that looks like a cylinder and we have three different channels or three different components in this cylinder. They're called hue, saturation and value. And I'm not going to give you today like a very comprehensive description of this color space because we don't really need to know super, super in detail what exactly is the value, what exactly is the saturation. We don't really need to know like super, super comprehensively about these things, but we are going to work mostly with the hue channel. And if we look at the hue channel, this is where we are going to have our information related to the color of our image, to the color of all the different pixels in our image. Now we are looking at a cylinder which contains information for hue, saturation and value. But let me show you how this cylinder looks like if we look it from above. If we look at this cylinder from above, we are going to see something like this. So this is what I want you to think about when we think about uh, the hue channel, that we are going to have something like a circle. And as we go through this circle, we are going to be changing like through different colors. So different colors are going to have different values in this hue channel. That's pretty much the intuition behind working with the HSB color space. The information related to the image color, to the pixels colors, is going to be encoded in the hue channel, right? We are going to use this information in order to detect an image color, pixels colors. And we are going to tell Python, we are going to tell our uh, program or software to detect all pixels from a given color. So, for example, uh, I have already shown you that we are going to detect the color yellow. So we are going to tell this software to give us all the pixels within this region, which is the yellow region. Now, we cannot uh, ask this program to give us only one value for the yellow color because you can see that this is like an entire region, right? There is like an entire region of the hue component where we have yellow. So what we are going to tell our program and what we are going to be coding today is defining something like an interval, something like a region, something like, like this, where we are going to define what's the color we are interested in. And for example, in our case, we are going to work with yellow. And if you think about this representation, if this is something that, uh, if this is our model for the color and for the HSB color space and for the hue channel, you can see that in order to specify the uh, yellow, in order to tell Python to give us all the yellow pixels, we will need to specify something like two inter like, like an interval, something like these two values. We are going to tell our program to give us all the pixels that are within this interval. We're going to specify two values and then we're going to tell the software we are going to code today to give us absolutely all the pixels that are within these two values. That's pretty much the idea of what we are going to do in today's tutorial. We are going to use the HSP color space we are going to detect colors using the hue component, the H component, the hue channel of this HSB color space. And then we are going to define two values and we are going to ask our software to give us all the pixels within these two values. That's pretty much the idea. So let's see how we are going to do that. So the first thing we need to do is to convert our image from the BGR color space to the RGB color space. So we are going to do something like frame, then CB2, color, BGR2, uh, HSB. So with this sentence, we are converting our input image from the original BGR color space into HSB. And this is going to be something like HSB image. And that's pretty much it. So this is our HSB representation of our image. 
And now, the, the, what we are going to do now is we are going to call a new OpenCV function, a function we have never used before, which is called in range. And this is a function we are going to use in order to get a mask from all the pixels that uh, belong to the color we want to detect. So uh, we are going to use this function and the return from this function is going to be a mask. It's going to be uh, exactly the location of all the pixels containing the information we want. And the way we are going to call this function is that we are going to input HSV image and then we are going to input two values which are going to be exactly these two numbers exactly the interval for which we are going to tell OpenCV to give us all the pixels in this image that are in, in, in between these two values so we are going to input two values and the way we are going to um, define these two values the way we are going to find these two values is by calling the function I have defined in the utils file. So this is exactly why I have defined this function. By calling this function is going to be very, very simple to get exactly what is the interval we need in order to get the color we want. And you can see that for this uh, function, the way we are going to use it is that we are going to input a color and the output is going to be exactly two values which are named lower limit and upper limit the way we're going to use it is i'm going to import i'm going to say something like from util import uh, get limits and then as you can see here we are we need to input a color so i am going to define the color we are going to detect today which is going to be called yellow and it's going to be 0 255 255 this is yellow in RGB color space, right? If we want to define yellow, this is exactly the value for yellow in BGR color space. So the way we are going to input this function is by calling get limits and then we specify the color. We can do it like this so it's more clear. And this is going to be lower limit and upper limit. You can see that we need to specify our colors in BGR because this function take, takes care of converting this color to HSV and then it just continues to do some additional processing but we definitely need to input this color in BGR and then this function will convert the color into HSV and will do some additional stuff. And now the only thing we need to do is to copy these two numbers and to paste them here. So we are taking our HSV image and these two limits and we are calling the CV2 in range function. Now, let me show you how this mask looks like. Before continue with your process, maybe it's a good idea to show you how this mask looks like. So I'm just going to press play. You can see this is a mask. This is exactly how the mask looks like. So we are looking at a completely dark, completely empty image. But let's see what happens when I input a a yellow object something that's completely yellow and you see what happens so when we talk about this uh, mask this is exactly how this mask looks like we are getting all the pixels within our image that are from a given color we have specified yellow and this is exactly what happens we are getting all the yellow pixels in our image okay so now let's continue and you can see that we are very pretty much there we are we have almost completed this tutorial because the only thing we will need to do now is to draw a bounding box in our image so yeah this is uh, this is going to be a very short tutorial uh, you can see that we have only written a few sentences and we are pretty much there we have already our mask with the location of all of, of all of our yellow pixels but now we need to draw the bounding box and not only that but we need to detect exactly what's the bounding box for all of these pixels and this is where i am going to use the pillow library so i'm going to from pill i'm going to import image which is the function we are going to use from the pillow library and this is what i am going to do i am going to define a new variable which is going to be called uh, mask underscore and this is going to be image uh, from array and I'm going to input my mask so this is a new variable which is called mask underscore 
and the way we have created our image is taking our mask and then calling image dot from array. So this is basically the, the only thing we are doing is converting our image from being an ampy array, which is OpenCV representation for our image, and we are just converting this image into pillow. That's the only thing we are doing. We are keeping exactly the same information, but in a slightly different format. And now the, the reason we are making this conversion is because we are going to call a function from uh, this new variable which is going to be get bounding box and that is it if we want the bounding box of all of our yellow pixels if we want the bounding box of the mask i have just showed you a, a few minutes ago this is the only uh, function we need and this is how easy it is to get the bounding box we need for our object this is exactly why we are using pillow in order to get the bounding box because it's going to be super super easy to do it okay and now the, the another thing I, ca I can show you is how bounding box looks like when we have detected an object and when we have not detected absolutely any object so i am going to print bounding box and i am going to press play again you can see now there's not any yellow object in our image so nothing happens and bounding box is none and let's see what happens when there is a, an object you can see now we are getting some numbers and these numbers are exactly the bounding box and if there's not any object i get none so what i am going to do is if bounding box is not none then i am going to get the locations i'm going to ungrab my bounding box which is going to be something like this and then i am going to draw a rectangle with this bounding box and the rectangle will be something like uh, this is let's draw the rectangle on the original frame then we need to specify the upper left corner which is uh, x1 y1 then the bottom right which is x2 y2 then the color which let's draw this bounding box in green and then the thickness which i'm going to specify five and this is going to be equal to our frame and that is it that is all if i press play now we are going to see our uh, image we are going to see the the, the the stream from our webcam and we are going to see the bonding box drawn on top of this webcam so for example here i'm still drawing the mask i'm going to draw the frame and i'm going to press play again and you can see this is me there's not any yellow object so nothing is going on and this is what happens when i have a lemon or <laughs> which is a yellow object you can see we have at the exact location the exact bounding box for this object so yeah this is pretty much all oh, this is pretty much the idea for today's tutorial and i'm not sure how many frames per seconds we are getting but you can see that this is pretty pretty real time i mean we are getting a lot of frames per second we are definitely getting a very very good detection a very fast detection and we are uh, getting a very good resolution and most importantly we are not using a gpu we are running this script on a cpu and you can see how good of a detection we have also if i use another yellow object for example a banana <laughs> you can see that we are getting a very good detection as well we are detecting exactly where the banana is located and yeah so we are detecting the yellow color very very accurately we are doing it very very fast and we are not using a gpu so this is amazing this is a very very good object detector so this is going to be all for this tutorial and this is exactly how you can detect color using python and opencv please let me know in the comments below what do you think about this video and please let me know if you have any idea of some very cool and awesome project we could work on this channel so if you enjoyed this video i invite you to click the like button and i also invite you to subscribe to my channel 
My name is Felipe, I'm a computer vision developer and in this channel I make tutorials exactly like this one where I show you different applications and different use cases of computer vision. And I also share my experience and I share my resources as a computer vision developer so if those are the type of videos you are into I invite you to subscribe to my channel. This is going to be all for today and see you on the next video.